Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 59th Q tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Today we are going to discuss the tooltip. And before you stop watching my tooltips, um, you should note that this actually has a lot to offer. I know a lot of people think, oh, tooltips, I know everything there is to know. Well, no. Qt adds a lot of functionality to tooltips. So let's just create a dialog here and finish. Add in a push button. And let's just add in a couple of these here. That way we've got a couple to play around with. So we'll call this push button one. And we'll call this push button two. There, now we've got our push buttons on our dialog here. And we'll just actually just set the names right here so you can see which one's which. and open up the source. Now, now comes the fun part. And we'll say set tooltip. And we'll say hello. And compile and run. And after it's done building, it'll open up. There's our beautiful application. When you mouse over the push button, there's our tooltip. Now I know many of you that have programmed in other frameworks and other libraries are probably rolling your eyes going, see, I told you, it's just a tooltip. Well, we're not done yet. There's actually a lot more to tooltips in Qt. If you know any HTML, you can put in some HTML formatting. So we'll say, hello world with bold. You see how world is bold? But that's not all. You can actually get really stylized with these. For example, let's say font color equal, notice the single quotes, give it a color name, we'll say red. Compile and run, and then hello world. Now you might be sitting here going, wow, that's pretty neat, but you know what? That's still not all. You can do a lot with tooltips. I was actually very surprised when I first started using tooltips in Qt. I almost skipped the chapter. I was like, I'm not going to read tooltips. I've done tooltips a million times. But you know what? I'm really glad I read it. So I'll say li. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just creating a basic list here. So I'll say item one, do a little copy and paste magic here. And if you're wondering about the hard returns in the string, the compiler really doesn't care. Um, C++ doesn't really care about white space. Um, some older versions like C really would gripe and complain about white space. If you wonder what white space is, it's these hard returns and sometimes the tabs that's how some languages were, and their compilers were just horrible, horrible, horrible to work with. All right, so let's save and run this. And you can see we have Hello World with item 1, 2, 3 and a nice bulleted list. That is pretty impressive for a tooltip. Most uh, frameworks and libraries don't even come close to that, especially if you're coming from like the the Visual Basic world, you're probably just sitting in your chair with your jaw laying in your lap going, what the heck just happened? But that's not all, and this is really cool. Let's actually go new, and we're going to create a resource file. We'll call it uh, MyRes. Now, if you know what a resource file is, great. If not, then go back and watch the tutorial on resources. Now, I'm going to pause the video because I'm going to go find some uh, images that are worthy of this tutorial, and I'll be right back. Okay, hunted through my images and found a few. Now, we have to add a prefix, so we'll just say, eh, let's call this files. And then we are going to add files. And I've added a subfolder into my project here with some images. And we'll just say, stop. Eh, let's just add all of them, why not? So we have add, stop, and warning. Notice they're all different sizes. Save your resource file. And let's say UI push button 2, set tooltip, and we want to add an image in here. So I say img src equal, notice the single quotes, 
Single quotes are very important because if you use a double quote, it'll actually break your string. And because it's in our resource file, we need the colon and we need the path. We'll say files, images, and say add.png. Then add some text in behind here. Compile and run. May take a second or two extra because you're building a resource file. And when you mouse over, you see there's your ad icon, Hello World. Pretty neat. And let's just see the bigger one in here. Stop. PNG. So you see you can get very creative with these tooltips. And you can add in a lot of functionality to let the user know, hey, stop. Before you click this button, bad things will happen. Or I should say, you know, if you click the button, bad things will happen. But you know what I mean. It's a pretty robust system. This is Brian. I thank you for watching. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining. And uh, keep up with the feedback. I like hearing from you guys.